guess where we're going today. Chelsea, where are we going? To the beach? Yeah, all of us. Are you excited? Oh, that's really bright. It's actually like 80 degrees out here. It's, it feels like a summer day getting ready to go to the beach. It's very strange because two days ago we had hail and thunder. So, we're also waiting to see if we see and hear the fighter jets going over. You know, I saw one, it was super close, but I didn't capture it on camera Why in time. Going over? In honor of the nurses and doctors and uh, everyone taken care of. Serving. Yep. So we've got everything packed here. We're going light. Let me show you kind of why. One, because the water is going to be too cold to get in the lake. We've got food in here, a one chair and an umbrella, and then just one towel, beach blanket, sunscreen, and <laughs> mainly like sand. Are we still stuff for them. At yeah, and we'll stop at Target to get so one more blanket. I mean chair. One more chair. So this is why we can't, we're kind of trying to go minimal because this whole pile <laughs> of mess here in the garage and my beach, uh, what do you call it, wagon is back there. And my motto for first time at the beach is always, you learn your lesson, you learn what you forget. And you don't ever forget that the next time. So we kind of know the routine, but we're gonna have to run to Target because all of our chairs break. I'm looking at trying to get a really good one, but that was supposed to be my Mother's Day gift. But we'll have to just, I don't know, maybe we'll see. Maybe I'll just run into Costco and get that. Okay. And then you can use this one. Okay. I'll call dad. I'll call dad and ask if I can buy my Mother's Day present today. <laughs> He's not home until like, after every store is closed, so I don't think he would have a chance before Sunday. Okay, we're all set up. I'm not going to show you the chair we got till for just a second. Are you ready to go, Chels? And I'm going to not show you the chair. Abby's all set up. She doesn't like to be filmed. We've got our blanket all set up. Shoes off. Sunscreen on. Are you going to go get in the water? Yeah. I, just I knew you would. <laughs> If you see water, you'll get in. And everyone is socially distant. I'm very proud of the distance that everyone is showing to show we can do this. All right, check this baby out, you guys. We just barely bought it today. Look at this thing. Uh, oh, <laughs> it doesn't fit Ashley very well. Should we try mom in it? Look at this, it's a swing. Like, it's like a swing hammock. It's a chair hammock. Chair hammock. This is freaking awesome. Okay, get out. It's mama's chair. Yes. You guys. As long as we can come to the beach all the summer, I am good to go in this chair. It rocks. <laughs> You're not good to go. You and then all you have to do is cinch these back. And then you can go farther back. Like that. And I can just go farther and I can back. Lay back. You're gonna like fall. Yeah. <laughs> I'm like fully like You're horizontal. On top of our stuff. But I can take a nap. You can read and I'm like, that is the ground right there. So nice. Okay, hey, Ashley, you gonna go get the water? Yeah, but I'm waiting for Chelsea. I can't. All right. Ben has a cup holder big enough for my big, huge cup. Perfect, <laughs> right, Chelsea? Yes. I've been here poor, but I have to stay afloat. It's not easy. Be a person you don't want Can somebody Take me a little thing Going to do Going to do Where is a life like Where is my shy head If it's called living I don't know I don't know Are you a little cold? Where is a life like 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 Where is a <laughs> is it colder when you get out? Yes. <laughs> well, at least you got your first time done, right? No second. In the water here.
real Wait, life and aftermath of coming home from the beach. This is it. <laughs> Uneaten sandwiches, grapes that are probably gross now. Papa Murphy's got picked up for pizza night Friday night. But probably the best part is everyone is so tired. And it's barely 7 o'clock. I'm not You're exhausted. No. It has been utter silence in here while you guys ate. Did you eat your ice cream? Yeah. She had ice cream after pizza. Oh, suddenly someone is not tired. You may have a small bowl of ice cream and then you're going to bed. You were so tired. You nearly fell asleep in the car, Goober. But she did. So tell me, Ash, how was your first day at the beach? Did you have fun? It felt nice, but it, But we're it, tired now, huh? Yeah, it felt like really hot to me, like I was kind of sweaty. Yeah. It was good though. It was fun to be outside, wasn't it? Yeah, I, I couldn't really stand the sun much. No, we came back into the shade. We need to get you a new hat, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. That was actually the first time I ever had a hat. hat. Not have a hat di no, on? Didn't have a hat. Yeah. You're used to having a hat, huh? Mm -hmm. So I'll order you one on, on Amazon. Okay, so I've sho everyone showered, cleaned up, eaten dinner. Obviously, she's gonna go and have some ice cream. Um, Jason's, I thought he'd be home from work by now. What time is it? Yeah, it's 7.09. Um, I'm gonna have another piece of pizza here. Um, we're all very, very tired. I'm interested to see how Jason's done. I don't hear from him much during the day. I think he doesn't like to pick up his phone a whole lot. I, you know, he's trying to limit the contact that he has, like with his hands. Like he's trying not to call and um, help customers right when they come in and that kind of stuff. So I don't hear from him a whole lot during the day, but um, I think it went well. He's on his way home. So we have a shoe store if you're new. So he's only been open this week, um, but I think it's going well, as well as can be. So anyway, I'm gonna have another slice of pizza here and then try and get the kids in bed. I mean, they're tired for the first time in weeks, actually months, to be completely honest with you. This whole quarantine thing is messing up our schedules and they just are not tired at night. So this whole getting outside and being at the beach thing is like wonderful. So anyway, we'll check in with Jason and see how he did. But otherwise, we're gonna call it a night soon because we're all very tired. And you got daddy's ice cream. Daddy got pineapple ice cream, but we're kind of thinking that's part of the problem with him. Um, he's reacting to it at like middle of the night, so, you know, and you know, that didn't get washed. He, it's like it, he gets a cough and a runny nose and, and it's like at three in the morning and he can't go to sleep and it wakes me up and then I, it's just like this huge vicious cycle. So, he has told me I have specific orders for tonight to not let him eat ice cream. So, the girls now get his ice cream, which they're all very excited about. You know what's really good with that pineapple ice cream? And I wish we had some. I thought about getting some at Costco last week, but graham crackers. Graham crackers on this pineapple ice cream would be so good. Right, Ashley? Don't you think? Almost kind of like a cheesecake-y kind of a feel but anyway we'll see what Jason has been doing or how he's doing and then we'll end our day you ate ice cream I did. who told you to t who told me to tell you not to eat ice cream I told you to tell me not to eat ice cream but you just ate ice cream I did because you didn't tell me not to <laughs> <laughs> you didn't tell him then you want I wasn't even in here you brought it in there. It's just, I have very little willpower. Can I get it here real quick? <laughs> Can you? I know that you're awake too, but I'm bloody not getting any sleep. Dude, you are totally snoring. Yeah, and then I woke up. Because yeah. I had just fallen asleep. And then I left and I came down here and all was up. So I slept from 3 to 6 and that's it. Great. I slept like from about 11 something until you wake me up when you come in at the bed. Stop. You and didn't even I like didn't move. I fall back asleep. Anyway, how are you doing? I want to eat. Oh, and we're, 
her, no, her no, orange. No, 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 no. She no. cuts the orange. Okay, wait, 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 wait. No, no, no. I won't have you good. on the camera. This is good cutting it this way. Like See? No, it's I not. I told you. It's not crazy. Okay, like I want everyone juices, in the comments really? to tell me. Exactly. There's lots of the white stuff. Is that the appropriate way to cut an orange? Yes. Do you tell me? You get okay. more of the juice. Don't cut it. I can't it. show. No. Why, why can't I cut she, it? Because. Okay, I can't show Kaylee. She'll get mad. But that, you tell me, you guys, in the comments. Would you cut the orange that way? Or do you cut it where you can actually see the threads of the orange? No. All right. Anyway, Jace, how was your day? Oh, really good. Store's getting some traffic. It's always good. nice to make money. We're the only shoe store open in the area, which is very nice. Helpful. So, you need to go shower. Yeah. Or are you going to work out? I want to go work out. Hey, Abby. We're just trying to have him change clothes at least and wash hands and stuff when he gets home. Yeah. From being in the public. So, and everyone goes around me when I have a camera on. Nice. <laughs> okay, that so that's really how you peel the orange once you've cut, cut it, right? You yeah. just popped it out. Apple. Like she cuts it. Yeah, I just don't get oh, it. That looks good. Okay. <laughs> The argument still continues about the orange because Abby came down and she's like, why do you cut the orange that way? We have a big debate in our house on how to cut an orange. Anyway, I am, Jason's doing well. He needs to go and um, work out and shower and um, he's just going to be tired himself. But the store did well today and um, he's tired. So we're going to call it a night. I look, this is my face, you guys. I'm trying to clear this up. I don't even understand. It's like I'm 16 again. So I'm going to end it because I hate looking at myself like this. So take care and we have good weather tomorrow, Sunday, and Monday. I can't do the beach tomorrow, Saturday. It will be absolutely packed tomorrow. People probably will be socially distant, but I don't normally like to go to the beach on Saturday anyway because everyone comes to the beach on Saturday. I don't like to do that. So we'll find something fun to do outside because it's going to be hot. I might try and get out the air conditioning if it gets too hot, but then we have rain all next week. So anyway, take care and thank you for joining us today. And I actually apologize ahead of time for all of you who aren't able to go out and about. Um, I, I posted pictures on my Instagram. You can go and check me out there today. And a lot of you are like so jealous that I got to go to the beach today. And I'm so sorry. I totally get it. My sister went to her little like a lake like two weeks ago because no one's there. She literally lives at the top of the lake and no one lives there and goes there. So she had the whole place to herself. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh, Kaylee needs to use my computer. Give me two seconds, Kaylee. Um, and I was super jealous that she got to go to the lake. So I totally get it. You'll get there soon. If you want to see kind of in the moment events for us as we kind of come out of lockdown and are able to go and do things. Go and check me out over on Instagram and um, kind of get a current look at our life. So anyway, take care and good night.